Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. As you can see behind me, my XP tank is very full. So let's go and do something with that to start with. Today's episode I'm going to be making obsidian from beginning to end. I hope I can achieve all of that in one episode. Let's turn that on. Let's see what we can upgrade. I think I've been upgrading things. Agility we can get that to 20. And then you become a fledgling. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I should be upgrading next to be honest with you. Let's do attack, get that one up. Oh, one of these I can do battle spirit. So I get a, uh, a buff from that one. What do I get from this one? Okay, we don't care about creepers so much, I don't think, at the moment. We'll do this one. We'll actually keep increasing it. As you can see. <laughs> And go up fairly quickly. I get around about 50 levels, I think, for each. Uh, for each thing. What about defense? Let's get defense increased. What have I got? Oh, that was under shirt, wasn't it? What's this one? Okay. I don't tend to use potions, but we'll get it up anyway. And then we'll turn the top off. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at. Um, Cobblestone, uh, lava generation from cobblestone. Uh, what I've been, I've been between episodes, I've emptied out this space here. So I did a lot of digging and made my pickaxe a bit, uh, well, I used it up. So normally with a, in this pack, you're supposed to be able to use a torch, but it doesn't work because that it doesn't change from a Minecraft torch to a primal core torch when you put it down. I said it's unlit. I think well, maybe that's just a visual bug. The next one here is using a crucible and that gives you, as you can see, a rate of, um, sorry, a, a crucible on top of lava. This is, actually it's supposed to be not flowing lava. It looks like it is flowing, but that's actually the source block underneath here. And this one is, is a flowing lava and it's still getting a rate of three. The next one up is fire. So here I've got a hibachi. And I just put a redstone underneath it. That'll light up. And that's now going to give us a rate of four. But we can do better than that. <laughs> here we've got some yellowium. Yellow, I haven't made any yellow. But well, let's put that underneath here. What do we get here? Five. Now the next one is going to be even more surprising. It's a block of manilium. I'll put that underneath here. We get a rate of six. Now there is one more that's higher than this, and I think it's the Industrial Craft 2 Uranium Block. And that will give you 10. But this one is probably the one I'm going to go for, because Manilium is it's not that expensive. But it's, it doesn't, these are quiet, they're sort of passive, you know, they're not, you're not going to set things on fire around it. This one is, makes a mess, and it probably also slows down the frame rate. So Eulorium, I got that by... Um, sieving dust with a flint stiffened mesh. Oh, and I set up this as well. So basically, I just put another storage drawer as controller and some storage drawers around here. So everything comes in. Aha. Uh -huh. So that reminds me what I want to do next. I got a few tips between, between episodes too, that was also very good. And the stuff I want to do today is in here. I don't want to get rid of these, don't I? put these into my trash can. So, Bob the Bit Bat tells me I can use a pattern chest for storing bits and pieces, uh, casts. Do you know, I knew, I sort of knew about it, but I've never done it and I've got not enough inventory space. Let me just make some inventory space. What have I got in here? I can put up there. Moss stone, obsidian. The moss stone was really for to make some, um, what was I making with moss stone? Oh, I've forgotten. Let's come back. And redstone torch. I must have a reason for the redstone torch. You can't remember what it is. For the time being. Oh, I was going to put this pattern chest down, wasn't I? And dump. I was going to dump these first of all. Let's get rid of these things. I must have been clearing out the... Oh, that was close. Clearing out the um, the mob stuff because I put looting on the um, 
uh, on the mob masher. No, it's called the mob masher, and it fills this thing up so fast it's just not true. Uh, as you can see, I've got getting all sorts of bits and pieces, including skulls, uh, skeleton skulls, and with a skeleton skulls. Now I've got seventy with a skull. <laughs> 70 schools so that's doing all right <laughs> with just two beheadings on it i did have got another beheading as well so let's put the pattern chest down say here so i should be able to put these into it now yes i can great thank you very much it's going to make things probably a bit easier actually because yeah it tells you what you can see when you're you know, scanning over this doesn't tell you it just says it's a bubble factory box that's better isn't it should have done that in the first place. I did try it with um, a part chest, but the part chest didn't work. So in here, I've probably got another one of those. Yes, I have. Good. Uh -huh. I've got some ancient spores here, and I haven't done those yet. Let's do these. I basically want to make some witch water. So I'm just going to put these down here like that. And that will turn into mycelium, and then I can put a bucket of water in there, and that will make... Um, which water for us and I'll show you why I want which water in a minute or two I don't know whether this recipe works in this pack but normally it does I can get some more water while I'm here I need the water for the next step so the first thing I'm going to do oh yes that was another tip So Malakwa gave me some tips about using wireless storage, uh, wireless transmission, which I haven't done yet because I need to start doing, um, G get some GP generation working. And I was also asking about generators and he suggested this one was a pretty good one, the thermoelectric generator from Immersive Engineering. So I was looking at that one. Not too difficult to do. I'm not going to do that this episode. What I want to do first of all is a cobblestone generator was obviously and I think we only need the basics like that oh yeah our two buckets back which is great I will use some piping that's no problem I'm going to need some mechanical users so I have prepared some unstable stable nuggets we shall go and craft those up so we should do that first shouldn't I because it takes a while I also fixed this processes here what I did is I basically took the, the redstone around here like that so that would then feed into this block and also go through, pass through here with a redstone repeater to, to allow it to get out the other side so in here we'll put the uh, nuggets and they should start to cook got some more stall some soul forged steel there as well and so I'll take this with us while that's doing that the next thing I want to show you there's a lot today isn't there Obsidian. This here is the um, block dispenser from uh, Better With Mods. So inside it I've got some obsidian. If I right click, or oh, turn it on with the lever, it will actually put this dispense the obsidian. If I switch the lever back again, which gives it another a redstone pulse, it breaks the redstone but, uh, obsidian and it goes back in there. Just to prove it. it was actually that one. So now we've got a three and then it breaks it so we got four again that's actually quite good i'm not going to use that one today i'm going to still use this one look at that already got some mushrooms and i've already got some witch water now with witch water i don't know if this works in this pack we'll try it i said that already didn't i see tank's already full we'll take a flower so Normally you could take a day, uh, a poppy like this and put a poppy. There's at least four flowers, but they're all the Minecraft ones that you can put into here, I hope. So we right click that onto that, I think. How do I get it in? Ah, oh, it doesn't work in this pack. Okay. It worked in there. Like so you put it in there and you got a large one. But I'm sure we need the witch water for other stuff, so. You got the tall roses. Anyway, flowers are coming along nicely. They've been sort of grown over here. 
As you can see, I've added three more pots. I'll leave those for damping. That's not part of today's exercise, is it? Right, let's go and get those uh, ingots. They should be completed by now. I also changed the timing on this as well. Instead of being every four, I made it to two from three, and that seems to be working just fine. Yeah, I've got four. No inventory space. <laughs> Let's put the bookshelf down somewhere. It doesn't matter where I put it, to be honest with you. The bookshelf was just there for, um, so I can right click it with some moss. And I still don't have enough space. Let's go and make the next thing while I'm here. What I wanted to do was to make a book and quill. And the reason I wanted to make a book and quill is I want to make a another book. Um, I think it's the immersive one of the manuals I haven't made yet. So now a book and quill I should have in here a wither oh I've taken it out. I want a wither bone. And I've got lots. Six hundred and ninety-seven. one. That one. So that's just straightforward with a bone. I only want one of those. Put one back. Uh, if I what I did there wrong is so I right clicked it with this hand. If I do it with this hand, right click it once, left click it, sorry, you just get one. If you're actually on the one you're on, like this, you quite often get two. So, like that. This pulls in two, so you make sure you do it with a hand that's got something else into it. So, all we need to do with this is then craft that. And then we get three wither dust. Now, the wither dust and it acts as black dye. I'm not sure if this is shape crafting or not. I oh, know it isn't. A book and quill. Now the use of the book and quill, I think I wanted to use it to make another book and it wasn't the extra two utilities two manual, I don't think. I think it was a manual I wanted to make. Ah, it's this, a quantity key. And what you do with this quantity key is you take it You come down to your storage drawers here. I could have done it upstairs, of course. You right click this. If you like, right click the control, it does everything. And it tells you how many items you've got in here on each one of these storage drawers. So that's very useful. It doesn't give you the um, capacity, but it does tell you how many you've got in there. It's like I've got no redstone in there because I took it all out. Um, where am I now? Let's go over here. I think I've got some. Oh, yes, I'm keeping the flint in here. So, for instance, one stiffened flint mesh in here with some um, dust. Let's take that out. Put that one in. We'll make Eulorium. Let's put this one back into this. Like that. Because I'm going to need to make some more yellow oh, with the dust I put in here. It was prepared. So we'll see how much we get for 64. Ouch. I'm going to remove those. I'll do that between episodes. <laughs> I keep hitting my head on those. So let's put that into this bottom chest here like that. And then that'll get fed into here slowly. And then we'll get processed like that. And we shall see how much yellow I don't think I'm taking it out of here yet. I don't have a... Nope, I don't draw for that. Still have a problem with door. Well, I've had to turn on my XP again, hadn't I? Look at that. How long has it been? 15 minutes. I've got another 50 layers of um, levels of XP. It's, uh, it's crazy. What should we increase this time? Let's increase magic. What have we got? Golden tools. Safe point. If I'm going to do any, I'll do the safe point. Okay, good. Then that off again. So we just keep doing that all the time. <laughs> so XP doesn't look like it's a problem. The only problem is I haven't got very much storage in here. I've only got 16 buckets, which is possibly not enough. And I really should make more than that. I made some steel. I made some st um, stone drums, but they only hold 16 buckets as well, so that's not much use. But 
I do want to use them. So let's get those out. The recipe for these is very straightforward and they're very cheap too. So let's have a look. The recipe for this one. It's just basic. They've got those bowls from some quest reward and they're not too expensive to make. Just then cobblestone and some slabs. Not exactly horrendous. I'm going to put one here on the water. It'll start filling with water. So now, that's the next thing. Oh yes, I didn't go. Oh, I'm, oh I know why, because I filled myself up with so much stuff I forgot to empty it all out. Let's get rid of this. And I got those two helmets in there. Don't need those. Books I'll put in here. Voila. Oh, and I made some storage drawer stuff. Oh, actually, that goes into the other one. I don't need that much space. And I want those heads, uh, hammer heads, don't I? That was to make the crusher. The quantity key and the other key can actually go in the golden bag, I think. And I'll put these urns in here too. Right, now I've got enough space for the... Unstable ingots. Now those are stable, unstable ingots. Normally they are when you make them from nuggets, even in the old version of it. So that was the expensive route, which is actually the one we're using, so that's fine. So now we have enough level. I hope we've got enough layers, levels. I haven't checked, to be honest with you. So we'll look at the mechanical user. Well, I've got cobble, I should take that off the search, shouldn't I? So the mechanical user is minor is this one. So we need some some droppers and some levers. Okay, I've probably got enough bits in here. I probably haven't got any sticks because I tend to run out of sticks all the time. Let's take some sticks with me. I'm always taking the sticks and putting them in the in the storage drawers. So levers. We need four. We need those red uh, red resonating things, which I think I've got in here already. And droppers. That's what's the recipe for droppers. Okay, just red so Should we need two droppers? I think. We need two pieces of redstone. It's amazing how fast you get through redstone and iron. Iron is a problem at the moment. I don't. I'm not getting enough iron. Because oh, they're so cheap to make. Let's just make these up now. I should be able to make two. Am I missing something for this one? No, we didn't stack. Okay, great. What else do we need? We need some. Transfer nodes, we need some filters. And I need this one. I need two of these filters. So I need eight pieces of redstone and two pieces of string. Oh, I've completed the quest, yes, mechanical things. That was the mechanical user and the mechanical miner. That was that quest. And it was hard because we needed to get up to 32 levels of um, building experience. Two pieces of string. There might be some background noise you can hear whether builds are dealing with concrete. So now, this one. Good, I can make two of those. So transfer pipes and transfer nodes are fine. And I think. That's probably all we need for the time being. So what I'm going to do with these is I, I'll put one on my head. <laughs> and I'll put the other one away. This is getting a, to be a bit of a problem. I need to sort this out as well. So I've got two gold partials, so I can make that into another gold one. And I'll use the gold one for the uh, next beheading one. So we work to wait for some more gold helmets. Because if they're coming in, they're going to come in here. As you can see, this is already full. So I need to extend that storage out a bit if I can. Or move it somewhere else. So basically, 
Let's. I haven't put under here a fluid duct yet. And I need to. I might have one in my bag. Let's have a go. Have I got a hardened fluid duct? No, I haven't. And I haven't made any transfer fluid transfer nodes yet. What I'm going to do is make the hardened um, fluid duct. That's actually not too difficult. Oh, actually, I can do a servo while I'm... Oh, that's the other one. That's a filter, isn't it? Um... And I think that's the hard one. We can make this one very straight easily. And later on, we can always convert these to being a transparent. So we've got six of those, and we need to make another servo. The cheap ones are just fine. One piece of glass. Until we start moving things around really fast, I, I'm only going to use the cheap ones. And we need hardened, of course, because we're moving um, lava about. I'm just thinking a bit here, actually. I need the drum, basically, is what it's going to do. But of course, that's going to use all the, all the lava in here for a while. I don't think that matters too much, to be honest with you. Let's enable that. And let's put onto here a drum, and that should then be able to get start to get lava into it. Of course, I can remove this. And it might be well worth doing that while I'm using the manilium block here instead. That's going to give us more, that's going to give us lava at a higher rate. Where's my little chalice? So let's just pick this lava but lock up. I should be able to do that easily enough. Yes, I can. Great. Let's put that down there. And then we can fill in this with, with back again. So now we should be getting lava at a bit of, yes, rate six. So we haven't got much space in there. This, of course, is going to fill it with power until we get that. And in fact, that's actually going reasonably fast. So the next thing, what I want to do here is I want to put... We can use the mechanical user to put blocks down. So let's get that set up first of all. And I need to put it down the way I want to face. So I want it to be coming down here. So I'm going to put it on the back here like that. Ah, oh, yes, I need 32 building. Let's go and get the 32 building. <laughs> Hopefully I've got enough XP and I've not wasted it all. Let's turn this tap back on again. Yeah, right, we got our 32 building. I'll let it keep going and cre increase it another layer. Or two. Right, that'll do. So now we can put it down again, like that. What we're going to do is we're going to put the next one against this, this lava drum. That might be a little bit more difficult actually. Let's see if I, but I probably can turn it around. I want to put. I know what to do. Got a little freeze there. Let's put a block down here like that. Then we can put it against that. I oh, know, faces the wrong direction. I can probably turn it with a hammer. Let's see if we can turn it with a crescent hammer. Yes, we can. So, okay, good. There are some mobs over there. Okay, that's fine. Looks like we've got a little ember coming along to attack me. Um, right. So what we then do, is I'm going to take a channel out of here like this. Well, I'm just wondering how to do it, that's all. I need to go down one so I can put the 
onto here the filter uh, the item dot I'm going to do it underneath like this and I'm going to put all that one is going to feed into here uh, and I think I can reach everything from here now where is it I can see it it's just beside, beside me it's up there It's probably, well if he's in the roof that's no big deal, but I can't see it here. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Carry on with this. And I'm going to put the second one on top of this, like this. Try that again. So we're going to take the, run the pipe separately. That's why I've done it like this. So one, so they don't touch. It's actually one of the th awkward things with these, but it, in this version, it's a lot easier than it was before. So we'll put that like that. We'll bring this one down here like this. So that, that one then's feeding this. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to put into this, uh, this is going to fill up a bucket of lava by right clicking it. And this one's going to put the bucket of lava down here. So what we want to do is empty buckets of lava going out of this one. So we've got some buckets with us, I think. Yep, yeah, got three. Oh, that's what I did with the wither, <laughs> the wither bone. <laughs> I put it safely away so I wouldn't double click it out. Brilliant. Um, oh, by the way, that's a good way of getting mushrooms as well. So now. I want to set up the filter, don't I? So I need the filters in my hand. So I'll do it like this, because I've finished with those. So what we want is an empty bucket in one of these filters, white listed. So this is white listing. I know the rest we don't care about in this particular case. So this is what's going to feed this out of here. So we put into this one here, this filter. So we right click that, put this bucket in here like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a bucket into this into the top slot. Oops, under that one. There. Did I put that in the wrong place? Oh, it should, have, should have gone into the filter slot here. I did, didn't I? Okay. So that's now filtered that, and that bucket's now, if you saw it, disappears out, and that should now be in here. Should be. It takes a. What's happened there? It's going out. Okay, this is basically, it's not a right click. It's use on item. Use block, use on, use the item on block. And you saw the bucket come in and then disappear out again. So <laughs> hopefully it's coming to here, but it hasn't. Where's that bucket gone to? It's probably stuck because I've got no lava in there. Let's get the other, another bucket out of here. And put this onto here like this. Yeah, we've got a bucket of lava now. So what we can then do is set up the other filter. So we right click that and then we can put the bucket of lava into that. Shift click it in there, so it's, it's fine. And then we need to put that into this second one. Can I reach that from it? Yes, I can, good. So what I can then say is I want to put this one into here. So it will only extract full buckets of lava like that. So it's not coming in again. So hopefully the bucket will end up here. So we are going to change this to upper left slot only and it should be right clicking use active it's actually activate block with item there we go and that should come into here make a bottle of obsidian which we can then pick up of course now the other thing I need to do is put down an absorption hopper to pick all of this stuff up so let's do that as well uh, it's in the bag I made it already let's put it down say there that should have picked up the obsidian right now so that's that process so the only thing we've got left now of course is to put into this the um, cobblestone generator on top of it so just click on there like that and that will start feeding this up it'll start making obsidian uh, cobblestone it'll go into this to get smelted and come along here and then start to produce obsidian for us it's not fast 
to make this faster we're going to have to make more crucibles so let's do that next by now i should have got some um yellorium in here 30. is that finished so i got about 30 from one stack we'll go and smelt those and i think this is probably the best place to smelt those Oh, perfect. That won't take too long. And we'll actually, I'll go and pick up these crucibles from it in here. I'll get rid of the lava first of all. Turn off the fire. I'm going to do down here is then change the, the way I'm producing this of course we need to go down two blocks I only have got six went a bit faster I went down a bit more than I should put it on that one didn't wasn't there before let's put that one down there I need to get out I haven't yet built um haven't I built yet let's put the next one down here like this a jetpack I need to build a jetpack and as you can see so what we need also is we need to feed this out of here so let's we need to break this out of there like this so let's go and see if those have smelted no by now they probably are That's enough to make another couple of um, blocks. Actually, this one I can do it on, can't I? Three. Another stack will do as our six. So let's take another stack of that and get those going as well. In fact, I don't need to put those into that. I can put those straight into the sieve, of course. straight down on those and we can simply feed the stuff out of here so all I'm going to do is to feed this out is probably use um, item ducks I haven't I've got one okay that's good <laughs> I probably need to make more than that I might be able to feed them out of it we from the hopper actually let's see if that works looks like it's going to work so let me quickly make some more item ducks it might be it might also be possible to use blazing pyrothium for doing a, a lava generation I'm not 100% sure it does change per pack so what did I want to make I wanted to make some uh, fluid ducks and uh, item ducks let's do that and a server. I'll need another server. Probably can't make one of those. Probably missing out oh, glass and nuggets. I think we'll make two while we're at it. I need to find a good source of iron. I'm having, I said that already, I'm having real difficulty with iron. Even with automatic sieving, it's you end up with lots of other stuff that I don't really want, so let's make those two servers. Let's make some item ducks. Six will be fine, I think. Before I put too many of these down, let's just test that that actually works.
takes a few seconds. I might have to put it at one. Ah, that's working. As you can see, it started to get it in there, and it's getting it in there. Great. So, over time, it'll all fill up because it will use the cobblestone a lot slower than it's going to. Wrong one. That must be fluid duct. No big deal. Where's my hammer? Shift right click that. Pick it up. Let's get the item duck down here. I think that'll be the six I've got. Yep. So how fast is this producing obs getting obsidian in here now? Tank is still f that is full. That's not rotating. This is getting lava in, and of course it leaves the lava as soon as it comes in. So it's going to be making. It doesn't tell me. It says rate five. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Never mind. It's producing obsidian for us. So in here we've probably got six obsidian. As soon as that the Eulorium's finished, we'll do. I'll do that. But I'll do. I'll do that between episodes. But what I intend to do is to get lava going at a faster rate. Uh, I'm surprised. Uh, and then use an ender tank to pump it around the base. I think. Oh yeah, that reminds me. When you make ender tanks, the recipe says you can use. Uh, I've got it in here, haven't I? Use. Uh, I think it says you use white wool. But there's another way of doing it. So I've got some, I want to make some orange wool. It's got some yellow and some red. Of course, from our early days, we know that yellow and red makes orange. Like this. And I want some wool, so I need some string. Stick a stack of string. And I can get out. We'll quickly craft up that string into wool. And then you put the wool around the orange dye like this. Oh, I forgot that recipe wrong. How do I make orange wool? Let's look for the uses of this. Ah, uh, okay, it's one per. Okay, that's actually that's fine. So we get two orange wool. And then, when you want to make your ender tank, let's do the ender tank as well. Make one, because um, it's fairly straightforward. I need a crucible. I'm going to need some iron, uh, some ender pearls. And I think blaze rods too, for that matter. I've got plenty of blaze rods. Let's look for ender tank. This one. So we can shift click there is a oh no, I'm missing white wall it says. Tell you what we'll do. Let's get a white wall. Now this used to work. I hope it still does actually. I haven't tried it in this pack. So we got that out of here. If you take that out of here and put in this one, we should get an an orange coloured ender tank. Just like that. You can put that down there. And you see you've got three orange block bars on it. Just like that. You do that twice, you can then now basically be able to feed lava in, because I'm going to use orange for lava. Right. Now I think that's it, but there is we haven't claimed that quest, let's do that for now. Sorry, I want this one. Quests. And I think, was that a survival quest? I updated the packs, I upgraded, updated the quest, that's important. And one of these went by luck. I think this portal home got updated. I got an enchanted book from the mob farm. And I took it out, that got updated. So, next compression, I have, still haven't done those. 
and I still haven't completed that one. This one, I'm a bit puzzled by this one. There is a way to get slime balls, which is fairly straightforward. This one I didn't claim. Power from heat. Let's claim that. Done. Aha. Tell you what. Let's do this. If I press... If I want to move certain types of items out of here, and I don't have any particular... Yeah, maybe. If I do control shift click, it moves up that type of item. It's not very good in this because I've got all different items in. Oh yeah, that moved up the two axes. If I use control space and a click, it moves everything up that's in that frame. So if I want to do the hot bar here, it's the same thing. So control space and click would move everything from the hot bar up. I don't want it up, so let's move it down again. Uh, but it goes in the wrong order, so I'd have to do it from this end. Like that. Let's open this loop chest. What have we got? Oh, walrus. Excellent. <laughs> Complete rubbish, by the way. Uh, fire walrus. They're just decoration blocks. They have no other uses. Um, right, let's go back to that quest. I haven't done this one. I've created this. I created one of these upgrades, but I haven't done this. I should do the rest of those. They're straightforward. The next thing that's given me problems is night slime. I don't know where to get night slime from. Hopefully I don't have to go to the old overworld to get that. Getting food we haven't touched. Immersive tech I haven't been doing anything of. This is a mechanical miner. Let's claim that one. Done that. Thermal. Oh, we've done servos now, of course. Ah, okay, great. Let's claim that one. Done that one. There's nothing else in here I've done so far. Industrial. This is basically Mine Factory Reloaded, if you didn't know. So these machines are all Mine Factory Reloaded machines. RF tools, still haven't done much with those. And now we've got Applied Energistics we can do. Which might be good. I'm not sure if I'm ready to do that yet. I don't know that we need to do this in any particular order. This is actually the hard, hard part of this. So let's exit out of there. Let's open up these chests. What have we got in this one? A lantern of paranoia. Places torches and militaries automatically. Oh, that sounds like it could be actually good. It should be very good actually. And this one, some ores, including iron ore and some diamond because actually that's not too bad. Oh, maybe we just have that now. Let's see if that works. So now I'm going to come along and take my stuff back. Control space and click. And I don't need everything I've got in here. But I've definitely running out of time. And anything else I'll do, I'll do between cameras. Uh, between episodes. So next time I'm going to make this uh, crusher. Is it the crusher? I think it's the crusher. Something like that. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.